what's good guys it's your boy phone tech with another video and this one guys i'm going to be comparing an iphone 6 on ios 11.4.1 to an iphone 6 on ios 10.3.3 and guys i know i'm aware that uh, ios 12 beta 4 is out but i'm gonna be pushing more content about that in the coming days because i just want to finish with 11.4.1 for now so as always stay tuned all right guys gonna put up both devices ios 10.3.3 ios 11.4.1 Usually, guys, the 6 is kind of slow when it comes to booting up, but definitely better than 5S. So, let's see if 11.4.1 would be faster here. Both are taking some time. Okay, I 11.4.1 was slightly faster there, like half a second faster than 10.3.3, but that's something. Now, guys, just jumping into the phones. Some stutter there on iOS. 11 but it was faster I actually tried to be faster in 10.3.3 but it ended up being this is the same so guys both phones here have nothing running in the background and so i'm just gonna start a test with calendar by the same i was slightly faster there going for photos same i was slightly faster going for camera by the same going for clock Slightly faster than iOS 10. Going for reminders. So uh, faster as well than iOS 10. Going for phone dialer. Yes, yeah, so, uh, actually iOS 10 is faster on the 6. Safari. Definitely iPhone 6, iOS 10 was faster. Leaving, going for App Store. Okay, that was faster than iOS 11.4.1. Good stuff there. iTunes Store. Faster here, going for health, definitely there, I was 11, 10, weather app, I was 10, stocks app, I was 10 as well, now guys going for some third party apps, we're gonna start with Mario Run, Both are taking some time here. So Mario appeared here first, then it comes on iOS 11. So I'm assuming iOS 10 would be faster here. Definitely faster. Okay, the difference is not big actually. Geekbench 4. Wow, that was slow on both devices though iOS 10 was faster. Going for Subway Surfers. Loving Bar appeared first on iOS 10. So iOS 11 is trying to catch up, but no, iOS 10 was faster. Leaving, going for YouTube. Definitely some difference, iOS 10 was faster. Going for Google Earth. More responsive here on iOS 11. But a little faster on iOS 10 and then Facebook. Definitely iOS 10, leaving, going for Snapchat. iOS 10 as well, eBay. Definitely iOS 10, loaded faster, going for the Yelp. iOS 10, going for Instagram, definitely a little bit faster than iOS 10, Jetpack Joyride, it was more responsive than iOS 11 though, but I think, I'm assuming iOS 10 will move out a little bit faster here, like always, iOS 10 is leading, iOS 10 is done, ready to play, here comes iOS 11. Some lag there. One more game here, Temperan 2. Solving Bar appeared first on iOS 10. And while iOS 10 is ready to go, the game is done. Here comes iOS 11.4.1.
leaving, faster noise 10. One final thing here, settings. And that was definitely, definitely faster than this 10. We're gonna show you the in about here. Oops. This is 11.4.1, .1, that's a 10.3.3. .3. Now, guys, for some uh, RAM management. So, calendar, had to refresh nice 11. Photos. Wow, I have sense still solid. Camera. Clock. Good stuff there in iOS 10. Reminders, iOS 10 still doing good. Phone, definitely iOS 10. iOS 11 had to refresh. Safari, okay, both had to refresh that. App Store, both had to refresh. iTunes Store, refreshing both. Health, weather, stocks, Mario Run. Geekbench 4, great performance in iOS 10 for a 1GB device, Subway Surfers, YouTube, I refresh on both, Google Earth, Facebook, both the refresh, Snapchat, Great performance on iOS 10. eBay. Okay, both have to refresh. Yelp. No, both have to refresh. Instagram. Not sure about iOS 10, but iOS 11 definitely had to refresh. Jetpack Joyride. Wow, iOS 10 kept the Jetpack Joyride in the background. Good stuff there on iOS 10. Temperan 2, but had to refresh. Finally, guys, settings. Great performance. I mean, for a one gigabyte device here, iOS 10 is good on iPhone 6. iOS 11 wasn't good at all, to be honest. And yeah, so uh, definitely iOS 10 or iOS 12. iOS 12 still is better than iOS 11 when it comes to RAM management. I guess just want to point out that both phones are at maximum brightness. So uh, to, to make the uh, battery life fair enough here, so gonna go for Geekbench 4 now. All right, guys, here you have it. I wanna say that iPhone 6 on iOS 10.3.3 scored better in both single and multi-core. So I wanna say that differences, there's some difference actually, 30 on a single and multi is like 40, so 35. So there's some difference, guys, but it's small, yes, but I mean, iOS 12, let me show you just some iOS 12 that score lower single core than iOS 10, but higher multi core score. So, and that's the current score, iOS 11.4.1. .1. So, because it's the same phone I downgraded from iOS 12 for the video. The, I want to say, guys, that this phone did drop 20% in the test, and this one dropped 14%. So, there's some difference. iOS 11 still will always remain worse than iOS 10 when it comes to battery life as well, even though this phone has a higher wear level. 12%, this has just barely 5% wear level, so uh, even with a better battery, this phone did perform worse. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a comparison between these two iPhone 6s. I want to say, guys, that the battery life is still better, definitely, on 10.3.3. .3. RAM management was a catastrophe on iOS 11.4.1. Um, Speed-wise, iOS 10 was still faster. So, guys, definitely, at this point, iOS 12 beta 3 like what i compared last week is still better than 11.4.1 so ice 11 is a fail thanks god guys that they're actually gonna update all the current support devices to 12 because 11 was a fail so as always guys hope you guys like the video subscribe for more content peace out